Yo, what up, it's Don. Same in here. We are the Soul Brothers back up in it. Performance review, LeBron. With One of his side models. Yes, I think this is his budgetiest. Yeah. Most budget model. It's $90, very cheap. And it looks really, really good. It you does. Know? Yeah, the, the actual design of the shoe, I, I think the designer killed it. It looks mm -hmm. really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so this is called the LeBron Witness 3. The Witness 1 was not a very good performer. The 2 was basically the same as the 1, so we didn't review it. And this is a 3. If you guys want a copy pair, we'll, we'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the traction. So you have an enlarged herringbone traction pattern with a lot of it, like maps, I guess landmarks of Ohio, where he's yeah. from, right? So yeah, a little bit of storytelling, but it's mostly that this herringbone traction and tra tracking is good, man. Mm. Uh, right out the gate, really no breaking time period. I, I guess the first day was a little iffy, but yeah, it didn't really, you know, need that much breaking time. Mm -hmm. So stopping power on a clean court was insane. It was really good, stopped on a dime. Dust does affect it a little bit though. Mm -hmm. So once dust, uh, and it, it picks it up pretty quick. So you're gonna be wiping a good amount, you know, when you're if you're playing on a dusty court. But the wipe is pretty easy. So uh, it, it gets stuck on it pretty fast. But then you just do a slight wipe, and you know, dust. It, you wipe the dust off, and you have a few good stops, and it dust gets stuck on it. So if you don't mind that wiping, then it should be okay. You know, so dusty courts, it was pretty good. Uh, just. You just gotta wipe a lot, and also outdoor use should be good. Uh, the rubber is very hard and actually pretty thick as well, so yeah, it, it is. You know his budget model, so budget models are usually more geared towards outdoor use. But yeah, outdoor use should also be very good. Overall traction pattern is very very nice, and I was very, you know, excited, very happy, and also surprised uh, about this outsole. So uh, there's that. What about this cushion? The is there cushion? any? There's All an right. air unit. Look at that. There That's is. nice. Yeah. Little window, little peak. Full length encapsulated air in this. So it, it's kind of like, it's very similar to the the cushion setup in the Air Jordan 11. You know, so very old school. But, okay, so core feel is very good. You know, it reminds me of the Harden BE. You know, the I think it's called the X or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it's called, the, the Harden. You, the core feel is insane. You feel really low to the ground, very responsive cushion. I needed to break it in a little bit, but I can feel a little bit of a bounce, which was pretty nice. But impact protection was not that good. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if, if I played in these too long, my foot kind of hurt. Um, not as bad as I would say, like, what's it really, like, like, like the Kyrie 3. Not as bad as that, but um, it definitely wasn't plush like the hard ends or you know a nicer cushion setup and when I did a hard landing and I felt the cushion bottom out a little bit and uh, it did hurt when I was it did hurt my foot when I was doing really hard landing so just watch out for that but there is a slight little bounce from the zoom uh, not the zoom the just the air unit so that that was pretty nice court feel is very good and it's a pretty damn responsive cushion so um, I mean if you're a guard and you want absolute responsiveness then this is a good cushion setup but I would have liked uh, actually a lot more uh, impact protection but if you're okay on that then it should be a good cushion setup but for me it was it was I it yeah. was yeah all right what's up with this upper this upper is kind of nice yeah so uh, it just says it's a knit it says uh, a knit material on, on the Nike website so that's probably what it is feels but almost like a neoprene it feels like a quilt yeah um, that my grandma used to make me yeah. you know like, like blankets and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels pretty damn nice though. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. In hand, it feels nice. On foot, also feels nice. It conforms to your foot very well. Uh, it doesn't really stretch too much, so it's it's pretty supportive, but we'll get into support later. Um, but overall, quality of the materials, actually, I was pretty surprised at, you know, especially for a $90 shoe. Yeah, I mean, this could pass as um, you know, $130, $140 shoe, yes. in my opinion. Um, I guess aside from like the synthetic suede material yeah, on the tongue and the shit mesh tongue on it, uh, you know? Yeah, there's little touches where you can see them them cutting corners like these laces here, for instance. Yeah. Are just straight garbage. But, um, but the know, main, the... yeah, but the main material uh, is nice. So yeah. materials, I really liked, I enjoyed it. So good, uh, good job on Nike. Hopefully they can you know, use these materials on all of their budget models and that'll be very nice. Instead of the shit mesh that they yeah. usually use, you know? 
so there's that. Moving on to the fit. The fit is very, very narrow and very, very long. Fits like the KD. So uh, I went down half the size actually and it's still pretty damn long. Wow. So it runs really long and also really narrow. Like w once I started playing in these, my foot was choked out and I was getting needles. Mm. So I had to really like be careful of not over tightening the laces. Yeah. So if you're a narrow footer, you should be okay. Probably go down half a size if you're a narrow foot. Normal foot, I don't know, man. Uh, I, it, the materials do break in though. It, it like as in it stretches out over time once you start uh, wearing in the materials a little bit. But still, mm. it's it's still pretty damn tight. Wide footers just stay away from the shoe. Right. It's a very narrow fit, so you'll probably never get a foot good fit even though the materials do uh, break in so just watch out for that and also there's really no dead space in the toe or anything um and all, i really do like this padding in the ankle area it, it's kind of like an achilles pillow not really but it's 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 very padded yeah so, super padded yeah so it feels pretty nice on the achilles and uh like the heel area so that's also nice helps with fit uh in the uh, ankle area as well moving on to support and lockdown so support, I thought was going to be pretty good, uh, and it was pretty good, but it wasn't the most supportive upper uh, out. Mm -hmm. So while I was doing crosses, lateral movements and stuff like that, I felt my foot kind of sliding out of the footbed, not, not, nor as bad as, I guess, like the KD-11s, but I am pretty light, you know, so I, I guess if you're a heavier dude and you do a lot of shifty moves, then you should probably watch out for that lateral containment. I mean, it wasn't horrible for me. Like I, I, I could deal with it, but I, it was, it was pretty annoying. Mm. So just watch out for that. You are very low to the ground, and it is a pretty wide base, so you should be okay um, with ankle uh, stability. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so you're probably not going to be rolling your ankle. Or, uh, unless you really step on someone's foot. So uh, that felt stable. Moving on to weight. These are probably going to be super light, right? Yeah, they feel hella light. Yeah. 10.55 ounces. So, that, so that's super light. That's that's what you get usually from uh, budget models. Budget models, they usually lack tech. So it's a lot lighter. And <laughs> this is a, one of the most minimal feeling shoes that I've ever felt. So it feels like a, you have a type of cloth or something. I guess like a quilt on top of your foot it, it just it feels really minimal dude yeah. so um if you're looking for a minimal shoe then a you know, very minimal and lightweight shoe then this is the way to go but just watch out for that uh lateral container it wasn't horrible though but other than that your traction is very good and cushion is very responsive there's really no lag or compression in in the cushion so uh you should be very very fast while you should feel very fast while playing with these shoes mm -hmm. on so uh, there's that moving on to durability Durability should be pretty damn nice. Yeah. Uh, rubber should be good. Cushion, no, no worries there. And also the materials seem uh, very durable. So there's that. How was ventilation? Ventilation was all right. Mm. I mean, it's kind of like knit, you know. Even though knits can be cool if they have like holes in it, uh, most basketball shoes don't have holes in it because that would, you would compromise, I guess, like support and durability of the material. So you have this very pretty thick layer of cloth over your foot and that gets kind of hot. So, mm. uh, ventilation was, but this is relatively thin so it wasn't as hot as I guess like the LeBron 16 uh, or the KD 11s but it was still on the warmer side. So uh, there's that. Aesthetics, yes. I like these man. These are fire. Yes. One of the best looking LeBrons in my opinion. Yeah. Out of every shoe LeBron has, you know. Uh, but anyways, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics. But let's wrap things up. 90 bucks. Man, that's cheap. Get it. 90 bucks, very good price. And it's a pretty damn nice shoe. I enjoy playing in it uh, once I broke it in. You do need to break it in because it is if you have that tight fit. But once I broke it in, it wasn't as bad. And uh, I, I could kind of deal with it. You know, and I really enjoyed playing it. The only thing is that impact protection. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't horrible, but it definitely could have been a lot better. So uh, that's one thing I would have changed in the shoe. And I guess also the lateral containment, make that a little bit better. Maybe uh, make the foam come up a little bit here so I you cage in a little bit better. But other than that, it's a great shoe. Mm -hmm. So just watch out for those cons. If that's not keeping you from getting the shoe, then go ahead and cop. You know, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, Great shoe, great budget shoe, and if it was like 130, 140 bucks, I'd still say get it, you know? That's how good of a performer this is, and that's how much I enjoy playing these. 
So anyways, again, if you guys want a copper pair, link will be in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.